How closely tied is this to the, the election, to the political climate that we've seen here over the last few months? Well, it, it's all connected to basically what's happening in trading. I mean, yeah. fixed income trading is great. They're doing wonderful. They're, you know, revenues are rising, especially U.S. banks yeah. are d seeing a better uh, rate, rate revenue. Uh, than European banks. So, you know, we did talk about, you know, at the end of the year, looking at the numbers, fixed income trading revenues up for 20% for JP Morgan, 10% for Bank of America. Voila, you got 20% and 10% increases in the bonuses. So, of course, it's all related to politics. Yeah. Um, so, why the disparity? The, I mean, are, are traders at JP Morgan just better? Who knows why one gets better revenue than the others, but you know, JP Morgan is the market leader in fixed income, not just rates, but in, in all fixed income, they're market leader, and they've been expanding their market share. Uh, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's now like 17, 18% of the market is, is JP Morgan. So, so they're clearly ahead. Um, they do everything, not, you know, and, and some of the European banks have, have shrunk to smaller uh, categories. They've gotten out of certain specific products. They don't offer everything anymore. Um, so, so, you know, they're the market leader, so they have an advantage there. And oh. I was just kidding, by the way. I don't <laughs> want to make from Bank of America traders. <laughs> but, I mean, of course, the, the, you know, the, the market, how, how much their trading grows every year, it, it goes up and down all over the place. And, and it depends on, you know, market making, although it's not prop trading legally, it's, it involves a lot of taking risk, which yeah. is, are these things going to go up, down? Are the interest rates here are going to go up by one or two? Or so you have to build positions, thinking of those moves, and and maybe you build the wrong position, you don't make good money. You build the right position, you make good money. There's a lot of luck involved. Yeah, you mentioned the European banks. Now I'll go back to that to this conversation about bonuses. Uh, it is a different conversation in Europe at this point. When you talk about compensation generally, draw the contrast for us, if you would. Yes, I mean in Europe some of the banks are seeing declining revenues in trading um, and it, intentionally some of it I mean they're they're shrinking as I said in some some of the markets some of the areas some of the regions um, so as that happens that you know they, the 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 trading revenue gets smaller so of course the bonuses get smaller and they're also still laying off people too I mean US banks have basically done all that they've gotten rid of you know several hundred thousand people in since the crisis it's it's not small but they've sort of slowed that down and and have stabilized especially the bigger ones um, Europe is still doing that and so you know the the bonuses are go along with that real quick Yalman I mean d with all the transparency that there are, is now in rates markets does this go away bit by bit Oh no! It, uh, I mean, still the, the rates are all. You know, there there's going to be more volatility. There's still room for market there's, gonna, there's so much market. Mm. There's so much going on. I mean, there. You know, uh, will will trade world trade going to change? Is is you know, are is, is the Fed going to keep raising rates? All these unknowns help trading, and and despite the uh, transparency, the volatility helps them. Helps yep. the bottom line. Yeah, thank you. For